How's it going? I'm Visionary. This is Visionary Decks, and today I built a Dreadway OTK deck with Valley of Imitation. Now, just like most people, when Valley of Imitation came out, I expected it to be way stronger than it actually ended up being. Because Valley of Imitation doesn't work with summon effects and it doesn't work with play effects, it's kind of a hard card to build decks with. The only cards it's really good at, like, duplicating are cards that are already strong when they're just on board by themselves. And obviously, one of the strongest cards just on board by itself is Dreadway, since it doubles all damage you do period. Now, obviously, since Dreadway is such a huge threat, the second it drops on board, your opponent is going to try to remove it immediately. But if we already have a Valley of Imitation on board, then we already have double Dreadway before the opponent can even have a chance to play a spell, which got me thinking, why not just play double Dreadway and then burst speed hit lethal with warning shot? So that's exactly what we're going to do today. The goal is to just get as many Dreadways as we possibly can on board. This deck was absolutely hilarious. I hope you enjoyed today's games as much as I did recording them. Without further ado, here's game one. I will keep Stone Weaving, keep Valley of Imitation. Zillion's good. We got the Warning Shot. See, this is more like it. Look at this. Dread. See this? Look at how balanced this hand is. This is a balanced hand. Now, we are not, unfortunately, going against a balanced deck so uh we're, <laughs> we're just, it's gonna be a tough one to win but i'm gonna try my best talia's great we have guaranteed imitation talia dreadway warning shot like that's pretty exciting that is pretty exciting just gonna attack get that free one damage maybe that'll be maybe we'll, maybe that'll be the one damage i need to hit lethal this game he has the bank he needs the reputation they, they just never draw scar grounds. The funny, the funny thing here is I actually like kind of have a better chance of drawing scar grounds than this guy does. I have a better chance of getting either of the landmarks he wants. Uh, now, if we do get Crimson Banquet all here, we could duplicate that with Talia to get Dreadway out on like six if we wanted. Let us get going. Let us get going. I'm just stone weaving. I want to know what we get. We could get some monument. Or we could get literally garbage. <laughs> we could get just absolute trash. That's cool as well. I'm stone weaving again. Hopefully we get like Crimson Banquet. Talia being a 4-6 challenger ain't the worst. I guess Plaza is the best option. I should have played Rock Bear first though. This is this is this is not the this is not the most ideal start, but I guess you know I can get Talia out next turn. Pull in this guy with Talia, maybe. Okay. So one, two, three, four. If we can find one more landmark, we will have leveled Talia this game, so that's good. I'm going to duplicate Valley of Imitation. I should have played this guy before Valley of Imitation as well, because now if I play him, all my Valley of Imitations die to, like, Ice Shard. So that's fun. I don't think we can actually play this guy. This, game. <laughs> but this is cool. 4-6 Talia, Challenger. It's kind of crazy. If he passes, I'll pass back. I swear, almost every match I play with that deck, I either draw no scar grounds or all six landmarks. <laughs> yeah, I don't, know, I don't know if I'd recommend running like three scar grounds, three banquet all. That it's just the tough thing about this deck really is just that like you don't you don't want landmarks. <laughs> it's always how it's been. It's just kind of always how it's been. Like this is just one less unit he can have on board now, you know? It's a good landmark, sure. But this plus Scar Grounds just, like, slows you down so much. Please kill Talia. Please kill Talia, sir. Please kill Talia. Wait, this is insane. This is insane, dude. This is nuts. So wait. If we have four Dreadways... If we have four Dreadways on board, is that just one warning shot lethal? It is, isn't it? Like, I don't even need to play line them up. I'm pretty sure this is just Dreadway lethal. We do take a decent amount of damage here. I'm not going to be able to play Dreadway until... Oh, no. I can't play Dreadway until his next attack. We might... <laughs> we might need a little more, like, stalling in this deck. I don't know what we're missing, but I feel like we're never going to be able to get this combo off quite in time before we just insta-die. Okay, this is crazy. I will block Vlad. 
I'm sure he's gonna freeze or buff or something here. Will Banquet's damage get boosted with Dreadway? Probably. Yeah, so Dreadway will take four damage. <laughs> Wait, that's a good point. If I have one Crimson Banquet all, and I play one Dreadway, and all these flip into Dreadway, I have like Banquet Hall deals 16, basically. That's pretty funny. Shouldn't have too many landmarks, has four landmarks on board. True. Man, if I could just play Dreadway next turn, like, we literally win. But I don't think we get to. I have to play this guy just to survive. Hopefully all my landmarks don't immediately get killed. Uh, this is really good because I could use it for Spirit Fire. Let's grab that. See, like, now if he just Ice Shards or Fractures... I lose. But luckily, <laughs> he did not. How marvelous. Okay. Cool. So now I'm just like, hey man, listen. I know we've had our disagreements in the past, but can we just pass and leave those behind? And he's like, yeah, you know what? That's cool, dude. I'll just pass back. Or he's like, no, that's not cool, dude. I hate you. Yeah, hey, that's what I'm talking about. See, look at that. And now he's going to play a card before he attacks. Because, like, why wouldn't he? Like a slow speed card. Like a big unit. Like a big giant unit. It was right on my tail. And then I just play my big giant unit. And then, like, everything's epic and cool and stuff, you know? That's nice. So wait, what is this? 2, 4, 8, 16. Wait, this isn't lethal. Because I can't summon... I can't summon a powder keg, man! I can't summon a powder keg! <laughs> no! No! No, man. That's right, I'll just summon a powder keg after the attacks. Bottoms up. Oh, I'll put all my bottoms up, dude. I got you. I mean, the funny thing about this is, I do just board wipe. <laughs> uh, I will, I will absolutely hit a warning shot now. <laughs> a little warning shot now, just because I can. And then I think we just still win with line up after he attacks, don't we? This is insane, dude. This is actually just insane. I'll block with Zillion. Just to save one one more Dreadway. Oh man, this is funny. This is actually just hilarious. Four Dreadways on board is is insanity. A bit of overkill for. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't that wasn't really much of a warning shot, was it? I mean, I didn't kill him with it. I did I did not kill him with it. I would say that still counts. That still counts as a warning shot. Hey, double warning shot. I gotta throw that away. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't keep it. Not in the starter hands. Okay, I want scrying. That's it. That's all I want in my starter. That is all I want in my starter is scrying sands. Give me that scrying. Let us scry. We will make the opponent scry. I will scry and the opponent will cry. Why? Dude, why is... E okay, thank goodness, man. I'm gonna lose my mind here. Every single game now, it's just like the opponent's not here. Is everyone just like clicking play, immediately gets up and walks to go like grab a bag of Doritos from across the house? They just like click play and go take a bathroom break immediately? I don't understand what these people are doing. You don't have to, like just click play when you get back. Don't click play and then walk, it makes no sense. Just click play when you're here and you're ready to play, you know? Slap him in the face with a fat pass. Works every time. <laughs> Works every time. See, it doesn't always work. But if you slap them, if you slap them violently in the face, specifically with your passes, then it actually works. And they are just so humiliated. They can't do anything but pass back. It's a it's a rare technique, but it does work. It does, in fact, work. Nothing beats field testing. Nothing beats field testing. What about a fat pass? It's a fat pass B field testing. Aw, <laughs> oh, man. That pass wasn't quite fat enough. Alright. One valley. Oh, boy. Where did he get that? Oh, star tipped, of course. 
follow the horizon. I believe this is the best possible block, right? It's just that, and then this. If I want to level Talia, one, two, three, four. Talstones is very good as well, though. I think we got to do with the Spirit Fire for Talstones just to survive on turn seven. All right. So, I mean, this is not bad. We got a we got a quadruple Dreadway coming up. That is, in fact, 16 damage with one warning shot. If we add line them up, that is guaranteed lethal. All we got to do is just not die. It is that simple. Can I just not die? That is all I ask of this man. Please, whatever you do, just don't kill me. It's not that I'm not asking that much. Just like, don't win. Just like, how about I'm not asking that you lose. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. He doesn't have lethal next turn. That's all that matters. He doesn't have lethal next turn. Also, that was not even a six plus cost spell. So Jace is still zero out of... What is this deck? What is the point of this deck? Does anyone know what this deck is? Why is he, why is he the way he is? I'll minus two on something. I'm, I'm not going to play Spirit Fire here. I'm just going to skip. If we, The only thing I want at this point is just like another warning shot top deck. Maybe. I'll probably predict off of this as well. I'll just, hit, <laughs> I'll just hit Triple Valley of Imitation, man. And like, I guess that's it. I guess that's all we're doing here. <laughs> he's getting nervous. You can tell he's getting nervous. Where's your landmark removal, bro? Oh, here it is. He's looking for the obliterate. He's looking for the obliterate. Let's see if it let's see if it comes through. Careful prep is spicy. Careful prep is spicy. If I didn't have um line him up, we could get like two more warning shots off of that. Or I guess one. I think I think we've got him. I think we've got him pinned in a corner here. Unless he can obliterate. He hasn't even played Cosmic Call. No, we just win. We just win next turn. <laughs> we just burst speed lethal of next turn. Wait, this is insane. <laughs> this is going to be Poggers? Oh, you have no idea. You have no idea, Wild Man. Just how Poggers this is going to be. This is it. The ocean herself will fear us. The ocean herself will fear us. This is it. We have burst lethal. It's insane, dude. Zero mana, 20 damage. He's going to try to kill. It doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. He thinks he... he oh, nice try, man. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> imagine. Imagine thinking... Uh, imagine thinking you could just remove one of my units like that. Imagine... <laughs> imagine thinking I'm just going to deal 32 damage <laughs> to your Nexus for zero mana. Ah, uh, GG's. Um, alright. Deep. Deep is good. We like deep. Deep is pretty cool. Deep is epic. Keep Dreadwheel, keep a predict. I don't think we want careful prep this early in the game, but it's here anyways, so... You know what? I don't have much of a say, do I? Trash from Desi. All in for I. Alright, uh, I'll just start off with Deck Hunter next turn. Well, Deck Hunter... I'll try... I'll, I think we want to try to play Valley of Imitation, like, as late into the game as we possibly can. Hopefully, give us something something cool off of this. None of this is that cool. <laughs> I guess I'll take Keeper of the Box. I probably should have just taken a one drop, to be honest. Uh, push that one insane damage. Never mind. Push that zero insane damage. No. He pushes that one insane damage. <laughs> Man, if only if only I could live that life, huh? If I could live the one insane damage lifestyle. If only that was me. Alright, so we have double landmark. That is a good thing. Make no mistake. I guess we just go Valley of Imitation, Valley of Imitation, Talia, Dreadway. So turn four, turn five, turn six. We have one spare turn. So because we have one extra turn, I'll probably play Mariah Warden here just to have some blockers. And we'll play Valley of Imitation once I'm out of blockers next turn. I think I'll careful prep on Keeper. Just see if I can find a better card. <laughs> Keeper's not the greatest. Uh, warning Shot. And there we go. We got double Warning Shot. The gang's all here. That is literally lethal. We have the combo. Ladies and gentlemen... We have the combo. The funny thing about this is like... 
they can't stop it until it's too late, you know? Like, they can't stop it until they already see what the combo is. Once the combo's on board, it's too late. I just burst speed one. <laughs> so if they're curious, they're like, ah, I'll let this guy do his thing. I want to see what his thing is. Once they see the thing, there's no deny. There's no counter spell. It's just like GG's, man. GG's. I'll play one more Mirai Warden and then we'll play Valley. Yo. Yo. Free Chime. Pog. Pog Champ. A bit underdressed. I guess we'll go with this. He's not he's not even attacking here. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, yeah, I'm just I think I think unless he removes a landmark with like crumble, we are omega chilling this game. This is just like a guaranteed win. Which is hilarious. Big Talia, let's go. Feels good. I do I wanna win one of these games by like attacking with Talia. I just think that'd be funny. Hopefully we can make that happen. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of a, a pipe dream, but I hope we can make it happen. I, I want somebody to let me just attack with a ridiculously overpowered Talia. I would just love to do it. It would just be fun. All right. And I mean, now we just all we got to do is hope that he actually <laughs> gives me the board space I need to make this combo happen. Because I do. I still think I need to. I have to duplicate a landmark. So if he just like doesn't attack here for whatever reason, then I lose. Surely he'll attack, right? He's got to attack. He's not going to be sussed out by me passing. He would never be sussed out by me passing. I mean, if you got to attack, like, might as well attack, right? <laughs> what could go wrong by just attacking? I mean... This is insane. This is actually just... <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand why he wouldn't just full swing, but alright, man. You do you. Uh, triple warning shot. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. <laughs> I mean, we definitely... I think we actually have lethal now, even if we couldn't play Talia this turn. You seem happy. What up, nerds? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I would say I'm pretty happy at the moment. I would I would certainly say I'm pretty happy. Wait, this, this might be the game where you get the Talia win. We actually might win with Talia here. Even though I have literally 90 damage in hand for zero mana, we might just win with Talia. Maybe he just can't do anything with against the Talia attack. Imagine. <laughs> Giga rocks incoming. Yeah. <laughs> these, these rocks are going to be kind of big. They're going to be a little bit big. Just slightly bigger than average. And I mean, let's not even let's not even mention the triple warning shot in hand if we don't have to. Let's just let's let him think this was the only way I was going to hit lethal. <laughs> Dude, it's just it's insane. It's it's so overkill. I love it. You gotta have a vengeance. Come on. Tell me you have a vengeance. Please vengeance. No, don't tell me you don't have a single vengeance. Hey, man. <laughs> Where's your vengeance, bro? Yeah, no deny. Where's your SI deny? Where's where's your bilge water? Your bilge water recall. <laughs> Alright, GG's. Minus 192. We should do this more often. It's fair. That's pretty fair.